All right, welcome to this video where we're going to be taking this layout and redesigning it in Adobe XD. Um, the idea with it is this is actually a user in the community. So if you don't know about the community, it's a Discord channel uh, where we all hang out. There's a link to it in the description below so you can come there. So this is from Seebeck. This is a product that him and his wife have created. They do granola, sugar-free, no oils, all like natural food, really cool. They needed a website put together really, really, really fast, like super fast, and they threw it together as quickly as they could just to have something that was online because there was going to be advertised. They needed, if somebody were to search for it, they could find it. And they got this. It worked. It, it served the purpose in that last minute pinch they had, but they wanted something a little bit nicer in the long run. So we're looking at refactoring this actual website. Now I was going to jump into the code and redo what we have here. So we have to see this little thing and there are other pages, but I'm just focusing on the home page for this video. As I said, we're going to be doing Adobe, Adobe XD where I'm going to be explaining my thought process on starting here and the chain, why I'm making the changes I make to it and the, the new design decisions that I'm making along the way. I hope that sounds good. If it does stick around, cause we're about to get started. So um, what I'm going to do is I, I want to do a few simple things here. I actually also have the logo I was a bit lazy with. It is a font, so we have it right here. Um, instead of right now, it's stuck off to the side there, obviously. So I'm just going to take the logo, just keep it the same size and just center it dead on the screen um, instead of having it lost there. And the navigation right now is a bit, um, you know, it's lost in the lost in there a little bit. So I'm just going to come in here right home and let's put on the repeat grid and drag that out. And so we want home. Uh, I can't even read it. So let's zoom in a bit. Uh, home about connect and products. Cool thing. If you push command two, you zoom in to or command three is what I meant to uh, connect and products. In this case, maybe the repeat grid wasn't the best one because my gaps are overlapping, but um, I just want to do this pretty simply and quickly. Ooh, let's, here, uh, one thing you can do if you have um, something like this where you're playing around with this and you know my spacing isn't perfect because the word lengths. Um, actually, one thing I'm not sure about, if I select that, yeah. Um, I'm just going to ungroup it so they're all individual and they're all on their own. And then I can just hit um, this one and it's going to actually space them out evenly. So could be a nice little thing. And then I'm going to select them all and crimson text because that's the font that he's using. What's, oh, do I not have access? Adobe XD with their fonts sometimes has some problems because I know there's a bold. Anyway, let's just leave it like that for now. I think we're going to do that. Um, and then we need to bring in our monkey. So I'm going to drag this. I want to go full screen with this. I find it's a little distracting the way it is uh, right now. So I'm going to go full screen on this and I'm actually going to take a dark fill, something like that. And I'm going to copy and paste that. So I actually have two boxes now. So let's go see. I have the monkey somewhere in here. Uh, there he is. So I'm going to drag the monkey into here and then overlap these. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them to the back. So I'm going to push uh, command shift and the open square bracket. And then on this one that's on the top, I can use this shadow uh, background blur is what I want. But the brightness we're going to put down to zero. So it's not, I'm going to take out the blur and I'm going to bring the opacity up. So my monkey is there, but I want the text to be the king here and not the monkey. And you can see the monkey gets lost a lot anyway. So I'm going to go with something that's more like that. And then we can take that same text that we had. Uh, so that was no sugar, no oil, all real food. Um, I almost feel like the all real food could be 
like we could put more of an emphasis on that even. And let's put this up to white. Um, I'm gonna switch the font here as well to good life size. It's not the same one, obviously, that he had on uh, the site. I'm not switching the font to this. I just don't have that font. Um, um, there is a condensed version, but it doesn't seem to be changing anything. So I'm just gonna do like a negative 100 on this. It's not a perfect replica for what he had at all, but um, it's gonna have to do for now because yeah, just to give a, a style a little bit. Let's grab both of those and make that a little bit bigger. Cool. Um, and let's make our artboard a bit bigger. And we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so for the next part, um, I'm going to be breaking up sort of what we have here. Because as I said, the focus right now is not super clear. I want people to know what they're here for. When I get to this page, I don't even know what it's for. I see a monkey's head. Um, so making this more important and making that stand out, I think is part one is just like this becomes super clear. I know it's about real food now. Um, but let's make it even more obvious. And to make it even more obvious, they have some good, awesome copy here. So we are, let's grab this. We don't need welcome to hippie chicken noms. Maybe it could be like a little sub thing, but I wanna make this a really big, that's all in white now. So let's change this. Uh, let's just go with a gray for now. And let's change this uh, to a box. Oops, and say we did something like that, but the line height is 70. There we go. So maybe something like that. We could put like oil free, could maybe come in with a color. Um, we could either go with the green. I think we'll go with the green. I'm just eye dropping it for now. Uh, pow. Ah, I hate that it does that. Uh, let's just add that then. Whoops. That's okay. Swatches. I'm just pushing the plus and it's going to add that green. You can also put it into your library or whatever it's called. Um, but just for now. There we go. So something like that. So it does draw attention. Maybe it could be bold or something too. I'm not sure if the font has a bold. So we can do something like that. So we know it's oil free. Um, you know, even if it's that's fine. I think something like that. Uh, center it on the screen. There we go. And boom. So now we get there. We know what this page is about. And maybe this can be it. Whoops. Not rotate. A little. Easiest thing if you want to change font size is just change it back to like something like that. There we go. Um, I'm giving it a lot of room to breathe. If we go back to the original design and this, well, actually the, there is quite a bit of white space around it, which is nice. Um, a lot of the time people will go with not enough white space. So I want to make sure people get here. They know exactly what they're doing here. And then we can come in with sort of an interesting feeling or interesting thing. So let's come in. Now, one thing that Seebeck did mention to me is that we could use the purple color from the monkey's shirt a bit more. Um, so you know what? Let's just grab and fill that. So we have it and group. Um, so I might tone it down a little bit because that's really bright and it's gonna be hard to put text on that. So I'm actually gonna push it more into a purple and a little bit darker. It's actually something like that. Um, and now, because now it's gonna be easier to put white text on top. And so we can change that all to white. And let's go back to the original site, because again, we have lots of stuff here. I'm gonna grab you, does it make sense? Yes, I'm gonna grab you and paste that in. And we could come up with something like that. Again, the font size here can be quite a lot smaller. I don't know if we'll stick with that font. We had crimson was our other text, crimson text. That's not the right, why does it look so weird? What's wrong with, there we go, okay. And this can go down to a zero. Um, one cool thing with line height, just in case you don't know, if you put line height to zero, it actually resets back to the default. Uh, 70, uh, actually I'm gonna keep that at zero for the second, because the font size will be down. 59, did I do that at 59? <laughs> Let's just jump that up to 60. Uh, 
Okay, and here we're gonna do like a 48 over 60. Maybe a bit smaller actually, 36. Hmm. I'm just playing around a little bit right now. And again, to zero, it's a not tight enough. Let's just go with a 50, I guess. There we go. Um, and even, yeah, let's leave it like that. Uh, there's the middle of the page, maybe? No, doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's snap into something. But we'll put it something like that. And then I'm going to switch this over to the other side. And we can get the rest of the text that we had here. Copy that, and this is going to be regular body text. Now, the regular body text we haven't, we're finally getting there. Um, was it like 16? I think I'm going to go with 18. Um, I like my fonts a little bit bigger, and this 25 that's not too bad actually. But and even I think we can push, there's not lots of text on this site, so if the font size is a little bit bigger. I don't like these necessarily being the same font. Um, I'm going to break this into two paragraphs too, because, whoops, why not? There we go. And even. Let's just center all of it like that. Okay. That could look good. Maybe I'm just trying to think like we draw a line that splits it or something. Maybe I want to bring an image in as well. Um, so maybe I'm going to put an image in here. That's so weird when I'm selecting it, the font shifting. Anyway, um, so what I want to do here, I want to make this a bit more interesting. You know what? I'm going to think, I'm going to try two things because we had the welcome. What if I put this in with like a light color? said 21 is for our body size and it was welcome to is it welcome to it was I said so if I take that center do 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 boom that's way too late so we need a bit more contrast in there would that work I don't think we need it Let's get rid of that. Um, what I'm thinking here is either we go back to this font. What was it called again? I literally forgot. Uh, good life. Good life. I think I'm going to do that actually. And it's a little bit heavy though, so. Uh, we believe in not only having delicious foods, but nutritious foods that you can feel good about eating. I sort of like this second line here a bit better. So what if this line was like a uh, 28? That's awkward, eh? <laughs> 26. Uh, I'm just, that's uh, not really 24. It would make a bit more sense in a font scale. Um, so something like that could work and what if i lowered the opacity of this to like 90. it doesn't bother me too much i don't know if that's too low contrast um i was saying that maybe we could bring an image in so like what if i don't know where the middle of my page is i'm gonna guess it's that okay so what if i brought in an image oops okay i drew it. anyway there we go we have my image um, so what if we took this? Now this is a picture from Onsplash, not from them, but I was on their Instagram. They have some fantastic imagery. So if you just, you know, grab uh, some of that stuff from Instagram, the pictures are so nice um, that why not, you know? Because there's, oh. where's my picture? There we go. And cut. And paste. And send back. Okay, there we go. Something like that could be interesting, right? I think. 
I feel like something like that could be fun. It's a bit hard to see, so opacity is gonna. The background image is not the most important thing here, so please don't treat it like it is. Um, the text is, it's more about giving you like a bit of feeling. There we go. And then this, this, and well, this, this, and this, and we can center that way. Except that's not really centered, is it? You'll notice I'm not working with a grid right now. Um, I'm also, I'm trying to, whoops, wrong one. I'm trying to do just like a quick idea more so than um, doing like an exact layout on things. I just want to get sort of some ideas flowing on how I could do it. It doesn't look like it's really perfectly centered either. This would have to come this way more. That looks more like the middle. So say we did something like that. Like, I think that could be fun. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, good. So I like that. Then we'd probably want to do our order online stuff, right? So we could grab the U and do order online. And let's go get the text again that they used because I think that's fine. And I'll grab this, paste that in. Uh, you notice I'm, yeah, I'm not doing mobile either right now. Fill can be my dark text color. My text can be centered. This could probably be a bit bigger. Center all that on the page, it already is. Cool, so order online. Maybe we have something like that. This could be in my green color. Fill could be order online, just so we're bringing back the green a few times. Um, and then we'd want some buttons so you could actually order because you have to order through like they're, they're a bit limited in how they're allowed to sell. So we could just do some buttons like that. Uh, this is again, repeat grid, give myself three buttons. Because now if you change one of them, all three of them will change. And then we can just change the spacing a little bit. There we go, something like that. I'm not gonna put the text on the buttons, it's just Facebook, email, and something else. Um, I'm wondering also, say we did like a background color on this. Turn off the border, uh, let's zoom in. So if this is a background color, but like don't go into the grays. Well, it could be in the grays, but like really light. You know these little subtle shifts, if no one even notices, it doesn't matter, but it could help separate it from the next section. Uh, so order online, like that. Um, and then literally, I love this picture they've already had. So I have a screenshot of it that I've already prepped. Um, this is from the actual products page, and I think he did a nice job on it. This is like the actual font they're using and stuff. So I'd, again, the line height would need to be fixed. Um, but I love the artwork in this, and this is something that's not on the homepage right now, um, but I really think should be. And the reason for that is like, what, we don't wanna have to force people to skip through some of our products. So by doing this and bringing this in here, they don't have to skip through. Um, you know, they don't have to click into the products to actually see some of the stuff that they're selling. Again, it gives them more of an idea of what's actually on the site, which is super, super useful. Um, so as you're, you know, you're, you get to the site right away, you know what, what it's about. It's about real food. They're Northern Ohio's first oil-free, sugar-free granola company. So we know what's going on right off the bat. We can scroll down and even, I'd almost be wondering if we should switch those around, to be honest. Uh, we have our color there. And then this could be just white. I'm not sure if it has the same impact exactly, um, but because this is telling you what exactly is going on. Um, and then this is a bit more information, but I think this can make a, a nice impact and get people to stick around if they're into it. They know what's happening. They get more information on it. They can order online. Don't be scared of scrolling. People don't mind scrolling on websites these days. Uh, so we can get the information. We can order online. Maybe they don't want to order right away. They want to, you know, they might click through and try and make an order, but they might also just want to see like, oh, what type of stuff is here? 
Now, if we're doing that, I'd probably want to bring some buttons in as well. Um, but we'd also want to have like a, let's ungroup that and oops, delete. I don't know if it would look great with like a big giant button. And we have a purple, so let's add that to our swatches. Um, you know, we could do like something like that where this is like, what would it be? See, see all our products. Could be like this big giant button at the bottom. And then this is the same three that we had here. Um, so if somebody does want to buy right away, they can, but if they want to click through and see more, I don't know if that would look great. I just, this is sort of where we want people to click on at this point. Um, so I'd be very tempted to have that bigger instead, you know, just so it dominates a little bit or maybe something like that would make more sense see all our products you can click through if not they can order right away and then down at the bottom we can put a nice little simple footer um, so yeah there is the finished design and um, nothing too tricky here but again it's all about focusing the attention as the person's going down so not trying to overwhelm them with anything we have one piece of information another piece of information lots of white space around it we get down a bit more in depth because at this point they've scrolled a bit they want you know they might want to actually read know a bit more about the company we're giving them that chance we're letting them place an order uh therefore i just want to see here this means you're unable to sign it for the time being therefore in your purchase line you have to eat, you have to use one of the options below i think would make sense um, don't worry about the font, you know, font sizes can be nice and big a little bit. Really clear, just like outlining sections, lots of white space. Don't be scared of larger font sizes and, um, just, you know, I have a lot of empty space here at the top. Maybe that's not ideal. Um, but it's not the end of the world either. I think it would work fine, uh, with something like that. And maybe this could, yeah, we could play with that a little bit, but overall, I think, the the look and the feel it's a lot you know going for a super clean look coding wise this is probably easier to code up than the original design oh we only have the two columns so maybe not but um a lot of the time by doing this you're going like oh it's not the most interesting to code because literally <laughs> you know it's not that much i'm going to steal that from the home page uh from the products page here we have just like a flex two columns background image no background image it's not like it's a difficult thing to put together um, and just simplicity sometimes can go a really really long way so that's it I hope you like this design I hope you liked watching me create it and seeing some of my thought process in what I was doing with it from where we were to what we have here I'd love to know what you think of it and if you have any suggestions before I start coding it up please let me know because I'm going to be coding this up in the next couple of days and putting out that video next week Thank you again so much for watching. A huge thank you to my patrons for helping support everything I do here on this channel. If you don't know about Patreon, you can check out the link to it in the description below. It's somewhere that people can go and support everything I do here. A big massive shout out to Lauren, who's my supporter of awesome. Thank you so much for that, Lauren. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.